Before entering the changing room, step on the tacky mat with both feet to remove loose particles and then put on reusable shoe covers. Place the required bouffant cap over your head regardless of whether you have hair. Make sure all of your hair is covered and use a hair tie if necessary. Put on a face mask and a beard cover if applicable. A beard cover alone is not acceptable. Ensure the side where the strap is attached to the mask is the side facing the wearer. Form the nose bar over the bridge of the nose for a snug fit. Place a clean room hood over your head and use the vertical and horizontal adjustments to ensure that it is comfortably snug with no gaps around the face. Use the snaps to tighten. Select an appropriately sized coverall, picking up by the collar to ensure that it does not touch the ground as it unfolds. Completely unzip the coverall, holding it with the collar up and the zipper facing away from the body while ensuring that the sleeves do not touch the ground. While still securing the sleeves and collar, carefully place each leg into the coverall while standing or sitting if a bench is available. Insert your arms into the sleeves and ensure the hood is completely tucked underneath the coverall. Then completely zip up the coverall and snap the collar and leg bottoms so they are snug. Select appropriately sized boots. Sit on the bench side closest to the clean room exit and put the boots on one at a time without letting them touch the ground. Adjust the snaps at the top of the boot so they are snug around the coverall. To secure the boot, fasten the button on the back to the calf of the coverall and clip and tighten the straps around the boot for a secure fit. When one boot is secured, place that leg over the bench, avoiding the top of the bench and place it in the clean zone or the other side of the bench. Repeat for the other leg. Be mindful in maintaining the cleanliness of the area even when a clear division between the clean zones of the gowning area is not identified as a result of the size of the room. Put on an ESD wrist strap if it is required. Select appropriately sized gloves, picking them up from the cuff to avoid contaminating the fingers. Put them on, ensuring they are snug, but not too tight. Place glove cuffs over the coverall at the wrists and seal with ESD tape so that no skin is exposed near your hands. Check for continuity. Leave a folded section of ESD tape at the end to help during the degowning. Note that if your gloves become punctured or tear, simply put a new pair of gloves over the old pair and seal with ESD tape. If required, select and clean a pair of safety glasses or goggles before putting them on. Goggles are required if handling flight hardware or complying with sensitive cleanliness requirements. Once in the clean zone, use the mirror to ensure that everything has been put on properly and everything has been covered except the area around your eyes. Using a polypropylene wipe and some IPA, wipe off your gloves. If you used a bench to gown up, then also wipe off the bench. This step is critical if working with flight hardware or critically sensitive cleanliness requirements. Check to see if there are any restrictions for entering the clean room. Programs using the clean room may limit who enters, especially when handling flight hardware. Step both feet onto the tacky mat outside the air shower or inside depending on the clean room, and then step into the air shower. Slowly rotate inside the shower with arms positioned away from your midline during the blow-off process to enable air to flow over your entire body surface. After the air shower cycle is complete and the magnetic locks unlatch the door, enter the clean room.